it is a festivity when the baby is born everybody is joyous everybody is happy but believe me when you see these babies growing particularly when they start babbling when they just start walking falling again walking is the biggest fun they are most lovable they are most adorable at this stage and this is the stage it is known as a toddler if you see word toddler it means to toddle to toddle means walk unsteadily toddler is the age between 12 months and 36 months this is the age where their cognitive emotional and the social development happens this is you can consider is the foundation of a building a new building is being formed and this is the foundation if the foundation is strong the building remains strong all throughout the existence is very important that toddlers are looked after well if they do something wrong remember it is not they who are doing wrong it is the parents it is the family who has not taught them correctly it is very very important that toddlers are given a correct message for the correct behavior in a correct way there are many temper problems because they are very strong also today we are going to talk about toddler and their temperament problems they are known as a temper tantrums dr nihar parekh is going to explain you about the temper tantrums thank you sir temper tantrums in a toddler is one of the commonest problems that we as pediatricians have to tackle daily it's more of a upbringing issue than a actual problem in the toddler let's talk about a quick review about how we can prevent temper tantrums easier easier said than done like sir mentioned a child's behavior is a mirror reflection of the parents behavior the more you hit the more you scream the more we argue in front of the child the toddler will pick that up they are clay that can be kind of structured in any form very malleable temper tantrums can be something as simple as eating problems which we will discuss later as they get severe it turns into screaming shouting hitting banging the head against the wall holding the breath turning blue and lying on the floor and sometimes a sort of a fake convulsion that is tightening of the limbs and the hands these are all ranges of severities lasting starting from just crying to breath holding spells the root cause is only one it is their need for attention your response to a tantrum is what decides how the tantrum is going to progress and whether it's going to get worse with time what we advise the parents is ignore the child when the child throws a tantrum a toddler throws a tantrum because the toddler wants attention you responding to the tantrum in form of screaming shouting hitting arguing negotiating is indirectly giving attention to the child his need is fulfilled he knows that if i do these things everybody leaves what they're doing and gives me attention so the rule of thumb is when a tantrum goes out of control you need to put the pedal on the metal and stop responding to the tantrum everybody in the family starts pretending that the child doesn't exist the first day the child will throw this tantrum for 2 hours and stop the second day one hour and stop by the third or fourth day the child realizes that all these efforts are absolutely useless because the child is getting zero attention and gradually they will self soothe find this effort as a complete waste of time and stop doing it change yourself and automatically the child will change itself 
one specific point I want to emphasize on are the, the severest form of temper tantrum, which is the breath holding spell, is very scary. The child becomes tight, lies on the floor, and sometimes turns blue without breathing. Do not panic. Calm yourself down. Do not rush to the child too fast. Don't pick up the child, pat the child, get the air out. No. Stay calm, sprinkle water on the face, and make the child cry. Two, three times if you do this, the fourth time the child will not turn blue and will not have a breath holding spell. And lastly, all temper tantrums outside the house, socially, in the mall, in the movie, are mirror images of behavior at home. Change the behavior at home, and automatically all temper tantrums will stop at school, in malls, and at all social gatherings. Tune into our channel, Child and You, for tips and guidance to raise a healthy child. Live now, live healthy, only with Shushruta. For any queries, you can write into us on or WhatsApp us on 9780-9780-9780.